welcome to my channel raising kids so today i am very excited to explain you about the respiratory system inside our bodies so let's see how the respiratory system works and what is the respiratory system so this is the respiratory system and the model and the chart so what is respiratory system respiratory system is the set of organs that allows a person to breathe in, to breathe and exchange carbon dioxide and oxygen this the parts of the respiratory system are nasal passages that means like nostril nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea lungs the main organs of the respiratory system are lungs and etc diaphragm respiration what is respiration this respiration is essential for the survival of living organism it al it releases energy from the food okay so the process of inhalation and exhalation is also called respiration so now when we inhale we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide why we exhale carbon dioxide instead of oxygen our respiratory system is such a design that it makes the oxygen into carbon dioxide let's see the process when we breathe it passes to the nostril where we in where we inhale air then goes to the nasal cavity which is air filled space and goes to the pharynx it is the part of the throat behind the mouth and the nasal cavity it connects with it then epiglottis which helps to pushes the food into the food pipe but it's also the part of the respiratory system then goes to the larynx the voice box commonly it's called the voice box and it helps in breathing and producing sound then now to the trachea can you see these lines these lines are called cartilage which prevents from callosipping callosipping means falling down or breaking okay then finally to the bronchi and these lungs i want to tell you about these lungs there is so much to learn about lungs that the right lung is of three parts three pieces here and here this is the right superior here is the right middle and here is the right inferior it these three parts are called lobes the three lobes and the left lung is smaller because the heart is here so it needs some space so it becomes smaller and it has only two lobes the left superior and the left inferior this is the pallular cavity the it is called all it's also known as pallural space okay it protects the means it uh, it is the border of the lungs it protects the lungs okay then we finally to the bronch bronchi it the each each one is called bronchus this is called the primary bronchus now when we go in the inside the repeatedly it made so many lines that it's called bronchioles now i want to show you a small tissue present in the lungs it is called alveolus this is the alveolus this is the bronchioles and the mucosaline inside is mus muscular line means muscular line and this is here there are some big big balls those are called mucus gland okay and this is the pulmonary artery which connects with the capillary beds pulmonary artery is an artery which extend which takes the deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs from the right side of the heart and pulmonary vein means it uh, takes the deoxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart then when we go inside these are the capillary beds which protects the alveolus there are many like these many are there the capillary beds 
it connects the artillery and to the veneers veneers and these are alveoli sacs and alveolar ducts and inside there are alveoli which are tiny tiny balloon shaped structure where the oxygen is there and our trim poles then when it comes out the poles can you see these arrows the oxygen is there and these corners the rbc cells are rotating slowly slowly and this and the oxygen gets attached when the rbc cells are rotating and slowly the blue purple cells rbc will turn into red with that oxygen and slowly the bubbles will turn into carbon dioxide and it again comes out from the alveolar chamber this is a chamber and from the out of the chamber it goes to the poles and to the bronchial finally to the bronchi and we breathe out so this is the process why and that is this is also the same process see here these are the lungs and i blow from here the moment when i am blowing the inside it is called uh, inhalation and the moment i am blowing outside is called exhalation so this is called respiration and the diaphragm contracts and flattens during the inhalation means when we inhale the lungs will be filled with air na so the diaphragm will grow a little big means a little small because the lungs are growing big and when when we exhale then the diaphragm again comes up and the lungs will become smaller so this is the process of exhalation and inhalation now we should remind to keep the respiratory system healthy to keep the respiratory system healthy we should stop smoking and stay away from second hand smoke second hand smoke is any of somebody is at your side and if that person is smoking you have to stay away from it and you should also stop smoking and the avoid indoor and outdoor air pollution air pollution and exercise regularly and get enough sleep and being active day by day and eat healthy and a balanced diet now thank you for listening thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel raising kids and don't forget to like my videos bye bye